spring is getting close and it is time to start getting some animals on this homestead. Today we're bringing home chickens. All right, so we're going down to the local farm store to, to go buy some chicks. We're gonna start off with getting six chickens. I got about these two chicken coops. There's a link down below in the description that talks about why I chose the chicken coops I, I purchased. The boxes that I have says they're ready for 10. I don't trust that. I don't, all the research that I've done says that they're adequate at best for six. So I'm gonna buy eight because I have a feeling that uh, I'm pretty new to this and that there may be a mortality rate uh, with our chickens and I'm just gonna one of the first things that I'm gonna do is lay down an absorbent so I don't something that I can throw away after I'm done with it that's gonna get rid of all the smell that possibly happened. I have a million of these U-Haul moving pads and I'm just gonna lay that across the table. So we want this baby chick starter home. I got it from Amazon. I think it was like 29 bucks. There's a link below. I went with this because I don't have my permanent solution made yet. Um, it's in the middle of building a shed, a 16 by 20 shed where I'm going to dedicate about five feet of wall space for nothing but chicken brooders and that'll be our, a more permanent solution. But for now, just to get us started, I've got this uh, this temporary one. It's, it's inexpensive and it's the material is cheap. It's just plastic. But I think it's going to get us by. It even comes with this uh, light pole where you can actually hang your uh, infrared light. But I intend not to use that because I bought a different lighting solution because I was reading too many horror stories of people burning their houses down, failures of those um, heat lamps. So out of the box, it comes like this. Uh, you have to put on a couple tie wraps here. That's where the pole is supposed to mount. This is not getting that pole. And it's actually the perfect size for this table. Bam, so there we have it. Now Amazon, they're giving away these pine shavings for free. It's uh, you, it's one of those deals if you buy it's so many dollars if you buy I think eighty dollars worth of equipment and at one time you get these pine shavings for free so I was like sweet free is a pretty good price um, they're very thin they're pine I have no idea how good they'll work but we'll see chicken feeder and waterer. Amazon has this KD starter kit for chicks and hens. I believe this thing was like $10. It was super cheap. But it comes with a cool water. It comes with a chicken toy. It comes with a feeder. It comes with a waterer. And I think it's perfect for starting up. But again, I'm new. and So we'll see how that all works out. Chicken starter, it is medicated, it's not GMO free, and I'm not ready to start going super all natural. And eventually that's the goal, but right now I'm uh, new to this and uh, I don't know what I don't know yet, so I'm taking the extra precaution, and that's kind of why I went with the medicated food at first. That might be, might have been a waste of my time, but either way, it is what it is. So I also got this from Amazon as well. So for heater, I went with the, the Brinzi 28 heater. It's an 18 watt heater. Uh, it uses a heating plate instead of a heating light. Um, it gives a place where the chickens can congregate under and it, um, it removes the fire hazard or minimizes the fire hazard. It's a little more expensive. Like uh, this, this heater itself was, I think 75 bucks. But as far as a long-term solution, I think that's better than burning my shed down sometime or burning a barn down or burning your house down. If I, Pop it in here. We're gonna, we're gonna bury it under the pine shavings. 